Greetings, sir and sirrets, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to our lovely little laggy base in the middle of the desert, where I'm finally replacing the weapons I lost in the previous video. Now, I've decided that today, we are finally going to do something a little bit sad. We are finally going to be replacing the poor nimble thimble. This harvester has been utterly fantastic. It's such a cobbled together little craft, but it does everything we need it to. It's easy to control and honestly, I just had fun using it. But today we need a little bit more. What I'm going to be making is a harvester which can also make the resource blocks, these over here. So a sort of mini base, but not really. It's a mobile base, but almost completely just focused on being a mobile harvester. It simply has the ability to anchor up and then make all of the blocks and then send them to the black hole. After that, we can use them in our bases because at the moment, almost every time I build something, I end up having to scrap the regular blocks in order to get the wooden blocks, which is honestly just kind of against the spirit of this whole playthrough. So, let's get started then. First of all, let's get rid of the nimble thimble. It doesn't need to see its replacement being built. We're not that cruel. What's going on with your back wheel? As always, it begins with yet a simple cab. Okay, so for a harvester then, what type of wheels are we going to use? We could use the behemoth wheels for once. Now, we did use these on the Nomad. They are incredibly effective, but their turning is interesting. They're not the best when it comes to turning and can be a little bit unreliable. At least that's what I found. Unless, of course, you just have two wheels and nothing else, in which case, yeah, that's pretty darn fantastic. <laughs> this is how the harvester should look. Oh, look, an enemy. And epic music. It's not actually attacking us, but epic music. We could also consider using the threshers. The problem is the threshers are not the best versus trees, since they do have to be on constantly. And once again, the issue of this game not having keybinds for the different weapons comes into play. I don't want to constantly be using my ranged weapons, but I'm trying to use the melee weapons, and these things do need to be active to really work properly. You can get lucky and just have them in the correct placement, but then sometimes you're just not. Now, these lovely things just work as soon as you hit a target. So I think I'll go with the buzz saws. It makes sense as well, since this thing is mostly aimed at harvesting the wooden resources, aka trees. And then we can just have some of the angled stuff at the bottom. I think that'll be okay. Shall we just put that thing out of its misery? Oh, you have cannons. Now you have nothing. Well done. Now back to what I was doing. Okay, this just looks silly. That was unexpected. Okay, so turning, that's pretty darn perfect. Also, we really need to move soon. We've been here for a little bit too long. I know we're meant to have a permanent base, but once in a while, I think the base should be moved once we've drained all of the area of natural resources. Which we've kind of already done. I wonder how turning is affected by how far back this section is. I think it looks good like that, not quite all the way. That's pretty much perfect. So we really don't want this tech to be oversized. We've had larger techs in the past when it comes to harvesters. And that just makes life more difficult. So, this is kind of the size I want which is going to be really, really difficult to fit everything in. We need an anchor, we need the machinery, we need at least some battery space, and we need shields and repair bubbles, because even a harvester does need to be able to at least survive a couple of hits. Though I love how tiny this thing looks right now. How am I going to do this? Well, first of all, let's sort out the front. Once the front's done, I think we'll get a better idea of what we're actually going with. How big is this? Is this a three wide or a four wide? Four wide. Hmm. Yeah, how am I going to do this? So, 
I don't really need this thing to be able to climb all that well, so having very little ground clearance isn't a major, major issue. Definitely want to go with these as well. Hmm. This should actually work pretty well. Because with this, we're always going to be able to hit the ground, and because of our low clearance, we should be able to hit any tree before it hits us. Normally, when you build up like this, the problem with this is that the tree can sometimes hit the top sections before the laser reaches it. But if we stay pretty low, well, that shouldn't be an issue, should it? And the lasers can do a decent bit of damage, so if we keep the repair bubble quite close to the main body of the tech, we could just use weapons like this. So we're pretty bad against a lot of enemy types, but that's not too bad. Now, if we do have ranged weapons, I don't want spam weapons, so nothing which shoots constantly. So we are sadly looking at things like missiles or perhaps cannons, just... Not the regular smaller guns which we've been using recently. Otherwise, every time I hold down space, we're just going to be firing constantly, and that's just going to look really annoying really fast. Maybe something like lasers, like the needle laser. But saying that, I actually want to build a whole build around that, so maybe not. We do have access to the mobile refinery. Just a random thought. Now, if I put this like this, will this just work? I don't think it will. Oh, it does! Well, that makes life a lot easier. Ah, the problem is with the mobile refinery is that the actual fabricator isn't mobile. There's no such thing as a mobile fabricator. So, I think we may as well just stick with the normal refinery since it would look better. Or, of course, the Geocorp refinery because then it fits the theme. But the Geocorp refinery is pretty darn large. Yeah, it's a full two blocks wider. Hmm. Hmm. Thoughts and tribulations. Tribulations? That is not the word I was after. So. This is quite a simple idea. Whilst we're harvesting... Anytime we get a wooden block, we simply store it in a silo, or a couple of silos. There we are. Then everything which isn't wood gets simply stored in the main body here. So then as soon as we stop an anchor, we can do this. Now the only problem with this is this does not work if we get any refined blocks in the center. If we get any refined blocks, well, they're not moving anywhere. But of course, that can be quite easily solved by simply having a second filter, which simply says, refine blocks, go this way, and then that goes to the cannon. I think that's the simplest idea. This is a really easy way to ensure we have specific storage for the wooden blocks, but also, any extra wooden blocks we have will be split between being refined and being stored once we're stationary. And I assume we should go stationary before this thing completely fills up. And then, of course, this will just attach to a fabricator, and then all is well and good, we can make the wooden blocks. Of course, we also need a refinery as well for this, but I suppose a mobile refinery would work here as well. And then double the storage, since mobile refinery, this gets refined, goes to a second silo, which then has the refined version, and then we have the fabricator here in the centre. And that's not too space-consuming. Now, of course, we could use the larger silos, but once again, I don't want to have too much space on this thing. Nice and simple. Then simply attach a fabricator of our choice. I think probably just the GSO fabricator, although I am tempted by the Venture one, purely because the Venture fabricator, of course, I have none spare. But either way, the Venture fabricator isn't very big. Also, combat music is gone. But yeah, the Venture Fabricator is tiny. Look at that thing. And it makes the smallest of the resource blocks, which means we need less resource to simply make the block. Um, what does it take to make a second Fabricator? Believe it or not, we need some more wood. <laughs> of course we do. Thankfully, we do have some spare. 
Now, of course, this only is able to make one type of resource chunk at a time. We could easily change this so it holds all resources. Simply have these not really care about what they hold, and then attach them to fabricators in a similar way to how our base works. That's not difficult to do. The only problem is... It's more space consuming, and we would need to make sure we have enough resource capacity that we can hold at least eight of every chunk we need, and then have spares occasionally, because obviously we're not going to have eight of each every single time, and I don't like that so much. I like the idea of this also being able to simply sell resources and get money. Once again, combat music, who are we fighting? Just placed one of those in there to make sure that would work, and now I would like one of these, please. In fact, we could make this completely all about gathering trees by simply doing this. And you, I would also like to filter rubber. And that's it. Now, when this thing is not anchored... Only rubber and wood will get past this main part, and then as soon as it sits down, it's going to be able to filter out anything which we simply haven't collected yet. This is a very specific niche design, I have to say, and I think I will have to revisit this and make a more generic one, which is able to, co to collect all resources and make blocks of all types. Also, I have burped now five times during this recording because my body doesn't want me to record this morning. Okay, so next up, I would like the mobile SCU, just so we can use this as a bit of a cleaner as well. So I'd like one of those, thank you very much. Do I really not have any of those? I could have sworn I had a couple of those. I'm going mad. Oh look, I didn't know that would stay on once you unanchor. That's... Interesting now, isn't it? Wait. Does the Venture Fabricator work when you're not anchored? No, it's clearly not working because I can't actually use it. But now I can. I think that's a bit of a... Is that a bug? Okay, someone needs to tell me if that's a bug because Fabricators, as far as I know, are not mobile, including... The Venture version. The Venture Fabricator will allow you to craft Venture blo Yeah, it doesn't say anything about being mobile. That's really weird. It does seem to be active. But I can't do anything with it. Also, it's not drawing from the silo. Okay, let's quickly grab some wood. Let's see if it works. If it works, then I don't know if that's a bug or not, but that really changes how I'm looking at this thing. No, no, it's not actually doing anything. Okay. So that is just weird. But as soon as I anchor. Ta-da! Okay, if I unanchor, it now says it has six. Can I then grab some more and continue from where I left off? Once again, this changes how I'm looking at this craft. Thank you. The turning on this thing is bizarre, by the way. Seven. Okay, good. Okay, that is interesting. Not being able to turn whilst moving is really weird. Here's a question. With the mobile refineries, will the refinery have the same importance as a filter? I am hoping no. The reason is, if it's a no, we could replace this with a mobile refinery and a mobile cannon and constantly sell what we're getting and therefore have far more space for everything else. But we need to make sure that the filters always get stuff first. That was totally on purpose and to make sure that you are awake, oh people watching. <laughs> That's my excuse. 
Let's find out. Let's just sell the excess first. Oh, yeah. Also, we really do need a pacemaker, don't we? Uh, do we have any pace bobs? Yes, we have 13 of them. We're fine. There we go. But yeah, this only works if the mobile refinery is less important than filters. Otherwise, we'll end up selling some of the wood we're collecting. And then, what's the whole point of what we're currently trying to do? Nope. Half it gets sold. So what we would have to do then is have all this on the same track. Actually, it's still very much possible. It's still very much possible. We just need the filters first. Then this stuff. But I kind of like how it's set up currently, that's the problem. And now comes the ultimate problem, me knowing there's a better way, but liking the less effective way, and that happens far too often. I mean, look at the base, I like how open it all looks. You can make that maybe four or five times more compact, but I really do love the base we've made. And I think this is a reflection of that. So this should work now. So wood and rubber should be sent along over here, which will have all the refinery stuff and the fabricator for that. Anything else gets through and then sold. This should be able to get every single block because there's a filter here, which means that we can only get blocks through at the speed of a filter. Then there's two of each here. I think that would mean I don't leave any behind. Crafting can be a bit weird with that, though, so we'll just have to see how that actually pans out. No, no other way. Other way. Why won't that one turn? That's interesting. Uh, can I please borrow a refined block? Thank you. Naturally, I grabbed the most expensive refined block in the game. So we ignore all of that. Go there. Okay, as long as it still gets grabbed. I mean, the chance of us even getting any refined blocks in this thing is very, very low. That's just an in-case measure. How about that? I'm sorry, I know this works, but I really hate the fact it looks like this because it looks like I'm going to end up with refined resource getting into this and clogging everything up. So, what I am going to do is just quickly add one of you there so I can actually flip you. Thank you very much. You go here. And everyone's happy. Yeah, it's not the most efficient thing. I think really the easiest way to make this more efficient would just be to stack things on each other. But again, I like them all open like this. I like seeing how everything works. I don't like hidden compartments. And I think that works just fine. It should do anyway. It's very specific. It's definitely for niche uses, but you can change this for anything. So if you want um, Plumbite or, for instance, just replace those with Plumbite and then, ta-da, it's all done well and good. There's actually quite a lot of storage on this as well, surprisingly. There's the large silo, the smaller silo, and then this. The Scotty HC Collector. Okay, let's neaten everything up and then let's take this thing for a test run. We have three solar panels, we have four Geocorp batteries, we have 11 GSO batteries, and we have shields. I've also moved the back a little bit forwards and changed some of the stuff on the underside, but I don't think I really want to do much else to this craft. I like how simple it is. I mean, it's nothing special, and I took way too long building it, but... Yeah, for our first little mini harvester and um, crafter, I think that's fine. A good learning experience. Next time I build one, it's going to be an all-in-one so it can hold loads of resources and then make any type of block easily rather than selling half the blocks. I think that would work out better next time. Turns out it's not too bad at climbing. Now, it's probably quite at risk of getting stranded on any raised bit of land, but still. 
Yeah, maybe I should have at least some basic weaponry, otherwise every time I see enemies I'm going to have to think to myself, well, I can't harvest here. How can this climb so well? I thought it had, like, no ground clearance. Apparently it has enough ground clearance. Hello there, early miner. I am your future, late mi- Oh no, I've killed myself. I harvest all things! Come back here. Oh, look at you with your normal wheels. Sure, make fun of the slow harvester. Return to me. Stay there. Good boy. Oh, it's a not flame tank. I like you. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to eat you. That's just how much I like you. Yeah, not those powerful weapons in the world. This looks a bit painful, honestly. Just stay there while I slowly dissect you while you're alive. Dissection complete. Harvesting corpse. Hmm, here's a problem. Stuff always gets stuck underneath here. But our climbing's not that bad because we've left this gap. But we are going to have the odd bit of corpse stuck underneath there. A weird problem to have, admittedly. Let's go straight into the SCU. Oh, look at that. It's like presented for... Um. <laughs> so the first one's presented. The second one flies. Great. Great. Oh, I know what this thing needs. Lights. That's what it needs. Where's the warning light from? There it is. The hazard light. That's what I wanted. The hazard light. Wow, my brummy nature just came out strong. Yeah, look at that. Now everyone is warned. Um. Yeah, that'll do for now, I guess. One stripe on the butt. One stripe on both sides. There we go. Should be able to climb this okay. Yeah, climbing seems fine. Oh, I say that, and then get stranded. Ow, a railgun. Come closer. Whoa, what happened there? Bouncy, bouncy. Let me devour you. Poor guy. I know you're the combat one, but ow. What is that? Oh, it's just shotguns! Really? Oh my god, the recoil on those things against me! Okay, yeah, so climbing, we are vulnerable to getting stranded then. But most of the time, it works just fine. I'm just checking to see if any of that gets sold by mistake, and by the looks of things, no. I forgot how much si um, silos can hold. That's a little bit ridiculous. And then we have the larger silo at the back. Yeah, we're fine. Now we simply do this. And we st Does it have to throw them in the- yes it does. And then they hit each other, mid-air. Oh, I wish that happened every time, like, reliably. As long as they land close enough that we can put them in our storage. And then, since we've got too much of the rubber, we just swap over to that. And do the same thing. Why is that much... Whoa, that's weird. What happened there? It ate the rubber and then didn't produce the block. I don't get it. Now it's okay. That. I'm gonna have to rewatch that. Yeah, so rewatching, I have no idea what happened. I swapped over to the rubber, and it just ate the resource without creating the item. 
Is that going to happen every time we swap? Because that will be really annoying if that's the case. Also, harvesting in this is so easy. I'll take you and you and you and how about this one as well? There we go. Okay, I am really happy with this design. I've got to be honest. So I guess what I should do, though, is always have the wood being um, manufactured first, because otherwise, one potential issue, as we can see here, is that the rubber will be grabbed, but then most likely, both the wood and the rubber will have the same priority to be refined. Therefore, I'll end up with only wood over here. Now, that could be solved with a few more conveyors, but I don't really have those. What's that one really small section of rubber? Okay, so swap back over to wood. Look, it's doing it again! I don't... Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, unanchor, then re-anchor. Now do it. Note to self, whenever you swap, always unanchor and re-anchor. I don't know why that's a problem, though. That shouldn't be a problem. Is that an actual bug? Someone tell me in the comments, because that is... I can't understand why that's happening. So if I were to swap now, let's turn off the pacemaker. Oh, I hope it's not the pacemaker doing this. Normal. I would like the rubber block, please. Now it's working. I don't get what happened. Uh, let's swap you back over to um, the wooden block, please. Look, okay, now it's happening again. But if I do this on anchor, re-anchor, now it's okay. Okay, so from now on, what I think I need to do... I think it's because of this, what it's doing right now. That's my only theory. What I'm going to make sure I do in the future is whenever I unanchor and I go back to harvesting... I'm going to leave this on cancel, just empty. That way, every time, I'll always be inputting the fresh command, therefore that will never happen. Just need to make sure to re-anchor before doing stuff. I don't get what's causing that still. To me, it just seems like a glitch. I, it's not working as intended, but it's so hard to tell, because I am that incompetent when it comes to building. And many times I thought things were a glitch and it's just me making a mistake. So I don't want to say it is, but it seems that way. Grab you. How many do we have now? That's a lot. So with that, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. I think I have succeeded in doing exactly what I wanted to do. I have a brand new harvester, other than the Nimble Thimble. And the thing is, if I do want this to simply sell resource, I simply turn all of these off. And, if I want to store resource and then give it to the main base, all I need to do is go... Only this can get through here now, and then all of that gets stuck there. Which means it can do all of the jobs, depending on how you set up these. It's actually a little bit more versatile than I originally thought it was, which is pretty nice. Okay, make those, please. So how about if I swap now? And the bug persists. But if I do this, then this, there we go. Yeah, that's really weird. But make sure to do the wooden blocks first. Yeah, always make sure to re-anchor. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Every bloody time that hits, it makes me laugh. It is actually fairly consistent when you're on a more plain um, bit of ground. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.